Commercial planes take off and launch forward at amazing speeds. But before they get to the runway, they often need a push in the reverse direction. Why don't airplanes just reverse on their own? Strap in as we take off to find this out. Aircraft engines are designed primarily for forward thrust, and they operate with a specific set of performance characteristics optimized for this purpose. Designing an engine with a reversible gear capability would significantly increase its complexity and weight, and also reducing its payload capacity by that amount on the top of additional maintenance. While it's technically possible for some planes to taxi backward using reverse thrust, it is rarely used. Reverse thrust is the closest thing to a reverse gear for planes. When a plane lands, the pilot can engage reverse thrust, diverting the engine's exhaust forward instead of backward, helping to slow down the aircraft. Now, if the reverse thrust is applied while the plane is on ground, it can help it in moving backwards. But planes typically do not use reverse thrust to reverse the aircraft. There are for several reasons for that. One, safety. There is a risk of backing into something or off the taxiway, as the pilot cannot see where they are going or what is behind them while they are using reverse thrust for reversing. So they are relying entirely on the ground crew to act as their eyes and prevent collisions. Also, reversing procedure requires special braking techniques as there is a high risk of when the aircraft is reversing its tail may strike the ground if the brakes are applied too quickly. Additionally, using reverse thrust in a confined space could make the aircraft challenging to handle and potentially lead to accidents. 2. Engine Stress Applying reverse thrust while on the ground can put additional stress on the engines and their components, since reverse thrust is primarily designed to improve braking efficiency and reduce the landing rollout distance, not to provide full reverse propulsion like a car's reverse gear. This could affect the overall efficiency of the aircraft by more stress on the engine and potentially reducing its fuel efficiency as well. 3. F-Odd Foreign Object Debris Large commercial airliners, such as the Boeing 747 or Airbus A380, with multiple jet engines equipped with thrust reversers, can generate reverse thrust equivalent to around 40% to 70% of their maximum forward thrust. Reversing an aircraft using reverse thrust on the ground can kick up debris and loose objects from the runway, which can be hazardous to both the aircraft and ground personnel. Apart from all of that, a complex reverse gear is simply unnecessary. Airports have vast runways and dedicated taxiways, allowing planes to maneuver efficiently without the need to reverse. Plus, specialized airport vehicles assist planes in parking and disembarking passengers. While it might seem like a convenient idea, airplanes don't have a reverse gear because it's not cost-effective, practical, safe, and thus often not necessary in the world of aviation. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow aviation enthusiasts, and hit that subscribe button for more exciting insights. Thank you for watching.